I done goofed. Alright tubes, so if you didn't catch my uh, little video I did on the uh, on the uh, airbag light that I had on, I, I kind of showed this uh, this little uh, thing that I did. And uh, the, what happened was, is I was out in the woods uh, last Saturday night or Friday night or something like that. And uh, I was trying to back up through a, uh, through a section of sand in two wheel drive. So I had quite a bit of speed going. And somehow, despite the fact that I just installed this here, uh, this here backup light, I still couldn't see the big tree that was behind me and I backed right into it. So obviously it took the tail light out, which you know I'm not in the least bit concerned about that because tail lights are easy to replace. But what actually happened was is, is I backed into the tree right in this corner here, and I actually pushed the bumper all the way into the point where it, it you could see where the bumper is kind of imprinted in the bed here. And by pushing that back, it cr it crumpled up a lot of things here, and uh, even at the top, it's even screwed up at the top here. So I already did a little body work to it. I already pulled this bumper out uh, to a point where I'm, I'm not even going to think about that anymore. That's fine. Um, it's pretty straight now. It actually, it actually turned out pretty good. Uh, and it is a truck. That's the other thing. My, my, the thought process here is totally different than what it was with the Miata. You know, I mean, uh, I and with Road King's help, I can make this thing look like it never happened. But you know, I mean, it's a truck. The, the rest of it, I got to keep in mind what the rest of it looks like. You're not going to spend, uh, you know. 80, 100 hours working on this thing just to get it looking perfect. Then the other thing I did is uh, that night the uh, the tailgate was actually rubbing. If we open the tailgate here, you can see right in there where it was rubbing. And so what I did is, is I already pushed that out with my Porta Power. And so that, uh, it, it's still, that body line's not great, but it's, it's better than it was and it's not rubbing, so. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here we're gonna take out the old light, figure out uh, figure out what exactly needs to be done, at least to get the new light to, to at least fit in there. All right. So if we take a look at the other side here. It's supposed to come up around here and just make a nice smooth little curve around here. Not supposed to be any 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 sharp edges or anything like that. So coming back over to this side, this part here where it kind of makes that bend and comes down, that's all right. So so I don't think I need to mess with this part. Or anything over here our, our problem starts pretty much right at this crease so what I'm gonna try and do I'm gonna get my slide hammer we're just gonna try and pull all this stuff out right here like that spot that's sticking out there that probably has to go in and then the rest of this is gonna have to come out and curve so we got to get that in a little bit use our body hammer for that and then once that's in pull the rest of this out around try to maintain somewhat of a somewhat of a decent curve All right, so I got my slide hammer here. I got this attachment on here, with just a little lip on it, and uh, gonna see what I can do with this here. It's probably not gonna take much to pull this out. The challenging part here is getting getting the curve that we want, because because this is really only gonna give us right angles. We can only pull in, in one direction at a time. All right, so that's better than it was. Still, still got a ways to go. It's still a little, little bit of a tighter angle than I want it to be there, but that's all right for now. All right, guys, it's starting to rain here, so we're going to have to make this quick, but uh, here's where we're at. I've been messing with this thing for a little while here, and uh, I got it significantly better than than it was up to this point it's actually acceptable uh, beyond here it, it, it's it's no good it still needs more work uh, but obviously the tail lights all mounted up and you know from 15 feet away you can't even tell there's anything wrong with it that being said as far as I'm concerned this kind of thing even even on a truck having a gap like that's unacceptable since I have the ability and I have people who are who are good at body work around me uh, I like doing the best I can to, uh, you know, try and repair stuff like this. So basically, we got we got a couple options here. Obviously, option one would just be to leave it the way it is, which I do not intend to do. What I really want to do is consult with Road King. I might probably see him tomorrow and see what he has to say about it. 
because the fact of the matter is here is as I said earlier we could easily make this look like it never happened but uh, I'm not exactly sure about the whether the amount of effort that it's going to take is, is worth it uh, particularly with with you know what's going down on down here and all this because I can get a new bed for probably 150 bucks and paint it for another 75 and be done with it you know kind of seems like a waste to, to swap a new bed on the truck but in terms of the amount of time I'd have to spend it to get this back corner right again it, it would actually be it would probably be worth it I'm sure somebody will buy this bed and just throw it on a work truck and you know it'll be fine for them so either way I'm gonna end this video here for the time being I'm gonna call it uh, an attempt because I'm not really sure if this is going to be part one of, of a repair or not, or what, or, what, what, or what we'll ultimately end up doing. But uh, throw down in the comments what you guys think I should do. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, that's going to be it for now. All right, tubes.